Hi, I'm Chris Bergman from Horsepower Freaks, and I'm here with Brian at m and and we just brought an S54 engine in to Brian's shop. Uh, Brian and his company has been building our Horsepower Freaks engines for about two to three years now, and uh, I want to get into a lot of the technical details and information that, that we've uncovered along the way. So uh, let's talk about this, Brian. We have a S54 engine here. You can tell it's a little dirty, but uh, what do you do at this point when we drop an engine off? Uh, at your shop? Well, when you guys bring it in, we're going to disassemble the engine. We're going to uh, throw away some of the internal parts, connecting rods and pistons, and then we'll be upgrading those parts. Uh, we'll be surfacing the block with a pretty smooth RA finish, uh, ARP on the main lines, and uh, some head studs. We'll be talking about that through the day. Uh, we'll also be assembling an engine later on, and we'll talk about the machines and the process. Uh, as the day goes on. Ears, eyes, hearts, listen, watch and love me. Champagne bottle popping on our way to Guffy. Millertime killer, I'm murdering beats exclusive. Rose City rap. Northwest grown music, 80s ride so fly, don't even gotta drive, put the destination in GPS and just glide, attempted suicide cause we never come down, independent self-taught, not with that same sound, as you mainstream rappers in the chat is what we have to build from ground up, remain underground, on any track we master, can't catch us, drink a bottle and we bounce into the mountain, hit the cabin, hot tub and with your girl, got a wetter than the waterfront fountain, excuse me your highness, don't care what your sign says, allergic to nonsense, I'll sneeze on a conscience, control all continents, to web and winter parties to an audience. Riding on the town, light it up where we go. Drop me off, strap them in, watch me shred the snow. Run a hundred miles an hour, can't make me slow down. Fast life, no brakes, driving a snow cloud. Got a real deal, it's riding it out our way. You can find me on my board on the mountain every day. Don't care what you say, me, call us some truth. Too good at what we do, damn, we so uh, elusive. Going down the slope, got my speakers bumping flow. And I know that I grow with every heavy beat we drop. A low strapped on the chest, cause you know we be the best. Hell bent, rapping rhymes from the soul of the West. P Town, get down. Another round, make a sound, break it, bust it, move and take it, shake it till it come out. Then I still a lady that be All right, Brian, I can see you ripped that motor apart really quick. Um, now that you pulled it apart, we had some issues with this car smoking. What do you what do you see as uh, some of the reasons? For well, that? from the factory, they're not torque plate in the engine block, and the cylinders are egg shaped, and you'll be able to see that there's a large window in the bore. Um, the head gasket's obviously lifted on it, so. That's what's going on. Oil consumption due to the fact that the cylinder is egg shaped and it needs to be torque plated. What to do now? You say or how? Feel a rhyme coming on. Gonna put that fire out. Coming up in the world because you know it's my time. Second big B set. Even though I'm walking by, I need a hater or two. For you, then you're cool. Count up five girls and you know that'll do what you like. Okay, Brian, uh, what are we working on right now? Uh, this is. Another one of your cylinder heads that came in that uh, it's obviously lifted the head, the uh, head gasket's blown, so uh, I got the cylinder head level and we're going to make a cut on it with the sunning machine and uh, see how warped it is. You can find me on my board on the mountain every day. Don't care what you say, man, you call us some truth is. Really what we do, yeah, we so elusive. Strike some odd, I can fill an iPod with thoughts on my mind. Wait, rewind, my God bless me. Go wherever my mind lets me. Sure, talk a lot, put some money. Um, what you're seeing is uh, the cylinder head's twisted up a little bit and it's got a large window down here. It's pretty flat here. Um, we are using a PCD style cutter, which is a diamond cutter. Uh, I'm going to knock it down a couple more thousands and take another pass. Run this, we just stack words, we a factor. 180 Fahrenheit flow, we just back words. Know what I'm after, got my eyes on surprise. Success and mystery in lies on the inside. Alright, so what you're seeing is I've taken about four thousands off of it and it's still got a slight little window on there. And the RA finish is fairly rough right now. Um, I'm trying to get the cylinder head flat and I'm spraying a little bit of uh, WD-40 on the surface. So it's probably going to be about six thousands total. The last pass is going to be uh, really smooth and the RA finish is going to be uh, down around 10. So why do you put the, the WD-40 on there? The WD-40 is keeping the chip uh, off of the cutter so you don't get any little hangers on the, on the cylinder head. Okay, so, so what's a hanger? The hanger is going to be uh, a chip that's stuck to the, the cutter. 
Okay, let's also talk about a window. You mentioned a window. Yeah, the head's still a little bit warped, and that window is where the head is still warped, and it's got a little shiner through there that's uh, it's not totally flat. Yeah, you should be looking up to us to see what you could be. You know we sick with a flow, crash your dreams toe to toe. Have to smash all the critics till we finish the show. Wow, Brian, that sure is a nice finish. Look at that; it almost looks like a mirror. Yeah, that's where that PCD comes in. Uh, What's a PCD? That's uh, it's a diamond bit that's actually uh, surface in the cylinder head, and that's how we can get this RA down to that micron finish. Um, NASCAR is going to that. You got this aluminum cylinder head expanding and contracting on a cast iron block. If the finish is too rough, it'll actually just tear the gasket and blow the head gasket. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. because I used to hear about uh, people wanting that swirl in their head on the finish. Yeah, that's old school technology. Uh, everything's going to uh, MLS head gasket, and it, it's got to be smooth. Okay, great. Looks good. You can find me on my board on the mountain every day. Don't care what you say, me, call us intrusive. Too good at what we do, yeah, we so elusive. If you're riding on the town, light it up where we go. Drop me off, strap them in, watch me shred the snow. Hey Brian, I see you've got the engine in the surfacer. Um, what exactly do you do differently when you're surfacing an iron block than when you're surfacing an aluminum head? Um, we're running uh, this C CBN type cutter on the cast iron. We run a PCD style cutter on the aluminum. Uh, it has to do with the RA finish. The diamond cutter doesn't work good on cast iron. Uh, where I'm switching to a CBN style cutter for the iron block. So we're going to fire it up and uh, make a cut. What to do now, you say or how? Feel a rhyme coming on, gonna put that fire out. Coming up in the world, cause you know it's my time. Second big B set, even though I'm walking blind, need a hater or two. For you, then you're cool. Count up five girls, and you know that'll do. Where you at, where you go, like a border in the snow. So we've taken four thousands off the block. We still got some cylinder decking that we need to do. I've knocked it down another thousands, and I just wanted you to see the finish at four thousands. You can find me on my board on the mountain every day. Don't care what you say, man. You call us intrusive. Too good at what we do, yeah, we so elusive. Okay, Brian, what it looks like uh, you're, you're doing here is that you are taking off a thousandth of an inch at a time, it looks like, until everything is smooth all the way across. And I can still see after five thousandths, we still have some parts that aren't smooth. Yeah, I got to keep decking it till it's totally flat. And I think it's about two more thousands so it's looking like it's going to clean up and be ready to go. So this honing head is running diamonds, so it's running four diamond abrasives rather than a standard cylinder hone runs two abrasives and two shoes. Fly, don't even gotta drive, put the destination in GPS and just glide Attempted suicide cause we never come down Independent self-taught, not with that same sound As you mainstream rap So now I'm gonna put some Clevite bearing guard On the main bearings And what is that for? This is like a pre-startup lube In glands And uh, what's happening is these are a very thin ring And it's a uh, low tension ring that's just telling me that uh, the rod and main has been torqued and uh, when the tech gets it, um, you know, if it doesn't have any red paint on it, it hasn't been torqued. Oh, okay. Everybody needs that at the wheels. Yeah. All the time. <laughs>